NFT ordinals are a new protocol that went live on the Bitcoin main chain in January of 2023. The protocol allows users to inscribe a Satoshi, which is Bitcoin's smallest unit, there are 100 million Satoshis per Bitcoin, with data. This data can include code, like for smart contracts, JPEGs, or even MP3s. Ordinal NFTs are distinct from other types of NFTs found, for example, on Ethereum, in that the data is inscribed and recorded directly on chain, so that unlike with other NFTs, the data is immutable and complete, which is not the case with counterparty NFTs, as they're called, which are the ones found on Ethereum or Solana or Flow. Ordinals were made possible by two recent upgrades on the Bitcoin network. One, SegWit, also known as Segregated Witness which uses the segregated witness transaction section of a Bitcoin block to inscribe key transaction data into a Bitcoin block. It was designed, of course, to increase user privacy, security, and scalability on the Bitcoin main chain. And Taproot, which loosely loosened the de facto Bitcoin block size limit of one megabyte for an additional three megabytes of data for a max of four megabytes. So in theory, a user could inscribe a single Satoshi with four megabytes of data under the form of an NFT and take up an entire block's worth of transaction data in one single transaction. Which brings us to what is the debate going on in the Bitcoin community over NFT ordinals? Basically, the debate boils down to should Bitcoin users be allowed to use up an entire block's worth of data for a single NFT transaction? Bitcoin maxis, as you would imagine, are calling ordinals and to a certain extent taproot, which helped to enable it, an attack of spam on the Bitcoin network, orchestrated by known bad actors to clog up the world's most important secular monetary network. Whereas Bitcoin moderates say, look, Bitcoin is uncensorable. It's a free market, open source protocol that anyone can use. And if some users choose to inscribe three and a half megabytes of data into a single Satoshi for a transaction, you got to let the free market take care of it. And so if that makes transacting on chain more expensive, so be it. Either you find a solution to fix it or you stop complaining. Indexers, where do you stand on this debate? Did we miss anything? What aspect of this would you like to know more about? Drop us a comment below or tag us in a video response. Start your free account at ndax.io today.